What's happening? I'm Spleenathon. It has not been long since I've done this last. I'm going to show you how to create a turbine interchange. We've loaded up the asset editor. If you want to learn how to use the asset editor, please refer to my tutorial on how to build the cloverleaf interchange. This is going to be the end result of what we build. Have you laid your three lane highways facing opposite directions going across the diagonals of the asset editor's grid? That is what's going to make this easiest to do. Select the one lane highway ramp, uh, do the straight road tool and connect the different corners. Throughout this tutorial, you're gonna be switching between angle and grid. We're going to start off by also bringing down our elevation step to one quarter to match the three up that this uh, highway will be here. Turn on grid and angle. I'm going to go to the very center and I'm just going to build out like this. Similarly to what I've done here, you're going to want to set up your own three of these where if there was a line that was going through this side, it would go all the way to this corner here. And if there was a line going through this side, it would go all the way to this corner here. You're gonna to wanna to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to switch to the freeform road tool. I'm going to go straight out from this middle one, and I'm going to go all the way out to this third one. We've encountered an issue, and that's that this road here does not agree with the columns we currently have. I'm gonna brace this a little so I can just go ahead and cut it right where I want it to be cut. Okay. I'm now going to go ahead and do the step I was trying to do earlier. And I'm going to take the uh, first lane here and bring it into the second lane. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete, well, yeah, I'm going to delete these two. I'm going to, let me add it back just for the time to trick my subscribers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build back a little. Just it has to preserve this angle here. I'm going to delete those three. Let's go ahead and add something. And then let's delete those three. Oh, I deleted more than I wanted to. I'm going to turn the angle off for now and just use the grid. Go from the middle one to the far one. Go from the inner one to the middle one. Go from the middle one to the far one. All right, we gotta delete more. Go from the middle one to the far one. Go from the inner one to the middle one. And I'm just gonna delete the unnecessary roads right now. I'm now going to delete these roads here and I'm going to build the three lane highway back. All right, now we wanna leave the straight road tool immediately. Back to this, back to angle, get rid of grid. All right, now we are on the freeform road tool and we are using only angle. Let's confirm that that is one, two, three. That is three off the ground, good. Now I'm going to build this, and you see how it overlaps with that road? I'm just going to put down the column exactly where I need it to go, and finish that there. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. Right, see how it interferes with that road there? Just put the column down where it needs to go, and like that. Do that on all sides. All right, so by this point, you're probably realizing the sharpest turn in the whole thing occurs at this point here. So we're gonna just delete it on all sides and we're gonna redraw it. Around this point, I want you to make the inner loop a single segment shorter on each one. I'm going to do the inner loop connection before the outer loop connection. So just bring it to the ground as far as, as it'll go. Try to see if you can get it to narrowly pass through the columns, like I did right here.
Now once that's all taken care of, reverse the direction of the ramps. Alright, then the last step is going to be to get a straight road, not from angle, but from grid. And you're going to lower that down as low as it'll go. You're going to bring that out as many units as it'll go forward. Then you're going to switch over to free from road tool and angle. Alright, <clears throat> we're done. Well, I suppose one change you could make would be to increase the lane count here, 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 and here, here. If you can't increase the lane count in that point due to the DLCs or mods you have at hand, do not fret. We're going to save this asset as our turbine interchange. We're going to use our traffic test map. Now that we've placed down our brand new intersection, let's just uh, connect it with highway. And let's use my particular modded uh, five lane highway just to, it won't fit, it won't fit. All right, well, we have to make amends. Let's just use the straight road tool to connect that up there and there. I mean, there's no real reason why this through traffic actually needs this many lanes. Let's, uh, let's narrow it down some. Let's also beautify these a little. Oh, look at this, our beautiful turbine interchange with the lane markings and the lane mathematics. One of my favorite advantages of this over the cloverleaf interchange is that in the turbine interchange, the left turn does not have to slow down that much. It can take these turns pretty fast because they are not sharp in any way. It's relatively space efficient, and it could have been more cost effective if I didn't make these all bridges. If these were uh, grounded to dirt, it would be significantly more cheap. But I'm trying to do a uh, thought experiment here anyway. Right now, 85% traffic flow, incredible. I mean, I got up to feed... I got up to feed my dogs and I come back to this. This is a horrible junction. Look at all the traffic. Oh, it's dreadful. What? <laughs> Someone put another stoplight at the end of the intersection? I've been saying, you gotta cut this out, okay? There you go, traffic's freeing up. Boom. Traffic, 85%. It's red. How quickly is it gonna change colors, though? I'm curious about. Well, the biggest benefit of the turbine interchange is just how fast these vehicles can take it and how it's relatively cheap, cheaper than a stack interchange, at least. So, you've seen the benefits of this. Matter of fact, I say this is my new favorite, my new favorite interchange. I'd like to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Subscribe to become a subscriber. Share this video with anyone you think may enjoy it. And I'll never see you. But I hope you'll see me in the next video. Goodbye.